Hello grade 11, here is Mr. G and in this video we're going to be looking at the graph of potential energy versus distance between atoms nuclei. This has to do with the formation of bonds, so the main idea of this video is to understand this graph a little bit better. Okay, that is the main purpose of this uh, video. Now, let's first remember or recall that when two atoms come together to bond, there are forces of attraction between the um, atoms and there are forces of repulsion between the atoms. Okay, for example, the electrons of one atom will repel the electrons of the other atoms, but the uh, nucleus of one atom may repel the nucleus of the second atom and so on. The nucleus of one atom is going to attract the electrons of the other atom. So there is forces of attraction and repulsion. Okay. Now, how to understand this table? First of all, here in the um, y-axis, we are going to have potential energy. In other words, the energy is going to be in the y-axis. All these axes here is going to represent the potential energy. All right. And the x-axis... The x-axis is going to represent the distance between the nuclei of two uh, adjacent atoms. Okay, so all these axes here is going to represent the distance between the nuclei of the atom. Now we have three main point or four main main points here. We have the first point here, which I'm going to call point A. Now what is happening there? The atoms are too far. They are too far, too far apart from one another. So if the atoms are too far, what is the problem? They are not forces. The forces of attraction are too weak, so there is no, they are not forces. So there, the bone cannot form at this specific point A because the atoms are too far. So the forces are too weak. They, they, nearly no forces as well as if you see the energy the energy is close to zero at that specific point so that is why at point a the forces uh, the, the bond cannot form okay so let's go to the second point which is point b let's call this one here point b and let's see what is happening at point b now at this point b the atoms are come closer to each other they are closer so the forces increases um, the forces of attraction and repulsion increases. There is more forces of attraction and repulsion at that point B. However, they still not big enough. So there is weak and the energy already uh, drop a little bit into a more stable point. So this point is more stable than point A. The atoms come closer to each other and therefore the uh, forces of attraction and repulsion are increased now okay now let's go into point c this point c here what is happening there now at this specific point c here right at the bottom as you see here the energy is the lowest and therefore there is the most stable point in the whole graph so here the most stable energy state here is the most stable energy state now what is happening there why is that so because the forces of attraction and repulsion are now balanced that is why at that point is more stable more stable energy state why because the force of attraction and repulsion are balanced that is why at that point is when the bond is going to form so here is the only point in the graph here is the only point in the graph where the bone can actually form what you need to know here if you go to the y-axis this is the bone energy bone energy is here that is the energy that is required for that bone to be a form 
right is at the lowest point and if you go if you go into the x axis up here at this point here is what you are going to call the bone length this is bond length bone length right that is bone length because at this specific point is when only that bone will form now if this is going even closer to each other for example let's say this is point d this is point d here what is happening there the distance is too little it's too small so the forces of repulsion are now predominant because they are too close the nuclei of one atom is too close to the nuclei of the second atom so important here the atom can only form at point c at point c which is here because there is the most stable energy state is the lowest energy that is important why is that so because the forces of attraction and repulsion are balanced this is this graph is not a very problematic graph i hope you understand we revise quickly as we moving from a to b to c to d what is happening at a the atoms are too far from each other so there is not forces that act in the energy is near zero when you move to c the forces of attraction are now predominant they are attracting each other is more stable however it's not stable in f when you move to c now that is what we're talking about stability here at point c the atom is stable because the forces of attraction and repulsion are balanced you need to know that when you move here to this point of the graph it will give you the bone energy and when you move to this point of the graph will give you the bone length this is all about this video i hope it helped next time we're going to practice a question regarding this graph and you'll see that it's not that difficult thank you very much for watching i hope it helped you can always suggest any video you want to make uh, and i'll do i'll do my best to make it and uh, good luck